Okay, so I'm logged into Mad Mimi, and my goal today is not to use the normal compose tool for Mad Mimi. That's going to dump me into here. Uh, rather, I'm going to use the custom HTML <clears throat> email that will allow me to dump my um, my uh, HTML right into the body of the email and send that along. So I'm going to go back here real quick. And you notice here on the right-hand side, there's a little down arrow next to compose. I'm going to click on that. This time I'm going to click on custom HTML. Okay, and we are going to go ahead and add. Well, I'm not sure if these need to actually be in there, um, but we're going to add the, the um, you know custom title. This is really not much different than the actual than the current uh, wizard for sending these out. Then I'm going to go to the HTML page um, that I've created here. Um, that I'm looking at this, and it's already been uh, pre-formatted to actually work with HTML emails. Um, it's got a few uh, things in the code here. Um, uh, it's a table design. There's uh, display equals block um, for all the divs that hold the images, for all the cells that hold the images. Um, and the images are absolute paths. To look at the code for this, though, I'm going to right click and I'm going to click on View Page Source, and I'm going to get the actual page source uh, within within here. Um, it's not uh, very long, but I can go ahead and copy uh, everything from bottom to top in there. Control C, jump over to my HTML editor, and Control V that. And I can keep this checked. It's not really a big deal, but um, then I can just hit continue. Unsubscribe link is missing and tracking beacon is missing. Okay, so these are over here on the right-hand side. So I'm going to go ahead and just plug all these in at the bottom underneath the table tag. Uh, view on web, I'm not really going to do, um, and the reason for that is I've already got a custom um, link at the top of the newsletter that's actually going to um, take people away um, to the <clears throat> to the original source file. Um, but you'll notice in here, again, image style display equals block. This will keep it from displaying the little white area between all the images. Uh, and then my source for all the images is um, an absolute link, HTTP colon slash slash photoboot-atl.com, and then the absolute path to those images. I'm going to hit continue here. Okay, now it's actually trying to um, create a text version uh, of my newsletter. Um, I, I'll be honest, I've never really been huge on text versions, and I don't think pe very many people actually opt into them. So, um, you know, at this point, I'm just going to kind of leave that like it is. And if they would like to click, they can, they have the ultimate um, address again back to the, the main page. I'm going to hit on um, save here, and I'm going to click on send later. Well, um, actually, I'm going to leave this blank, and I'm going to go back to my dashboard. And you'll see here that it's created that. But to test it, I really like to test that. Uh, so let's just go ahead and click to go back into it. Well, that actually previews it. Oh, here we go. Send a test down here at the bottom. And I'm going to click on my address. Okay. And hit send test. That email should come in fairly quickly. Oh, promotions. Here we go. And here it is, and you'll see that the email is now displaying 700 pixels wide. Um, none of the images are broken. I've got my links down here at the bottom from unsubscribe to subscribe, and I've got my custom uh, click here to view the original source file. Thanks for watching.